In today's video, I want to talk about my 24 hour profits and compare my GPU mining farm with my helium mining farm. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to do is pull up Coin360 and just see what's going on. What's the state of the market? We got a little bit of green today. Bitcoin is up a little bit. Ethereum's up a little bit, but we still have a lot of red. So it's kind of depressing when you look at this. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Where am I at with the GPU profits? Let's start there. Here we are on what to mine. Um, real quick, what to mine is where you can put in your GPUs for those of you that don't know, and you can get an estimate on what your profitability is at the current moment with the, uh, the cryptos that they have here. And you can, you can go through and select which cryptos you want to be selected. You can come in and you can put your power cost. It's currently at 15 cents. I know we can put it at 10 cents or 5 cents or 20 cents, but I think, I think 15 cents is probably a more reasonable cost of power for most people. So I'm just going to calculate my farm at 15 cents and coming out at top, you know, Cero. But this is, this is where I want to look at. And the reason I, I start here, regardless of the coin, is because I have solar and I have power walls. So I actually have a zero power bill each month. So I can look at this top number as what I can produce per day. However, it's important to look at where the market at as a whole is at right here with this number because this, this affects so many people. Just to mine the first coin, the top coin, Cero, is minus $8.55. You know what? Let's, let's put it at 10 cents. Let's just let's be optimistic. You know, there's some negotiating going on out there with your power bill. Let's, let's go down to 10 cents and, and still at 10 cents, which is, I think is, is unlikely for a lot of people. We're, we're starting out negative $3 and 85 cents. <sighs> now, what am I doing right now? I mean, my farm is on, I'm actually spec mining some some coins, which is what a lot of GPU miners are doing right now for the ones that are still mining. I'll share that in another video of what I'm doing. It's it's almost like when you when you share whatever coin you're spec mining because people are jumping around right now, it can take the yield or profitability or whatever that potential coin is and really drive the yield or price down. So you want to keep some of that stuff kind of close to your, your, your chest, yet you still want to share it. I'm still a little uncertain with the one that I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to mine it for the next few days, and then I'm going to bring out a video about what I'm mining and how much I've, I've made mining that coin. There's not much else to say about the GPU farm. I mean, uh, you've got your, your, your big boys that are probably, I don't know, five cents a kilowatt hour. Negative four. What is this? Fifty cents. Let's fix that. Okay, five cents. And at five cents, with my what, 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 I got like a one point three giga hash farm. Yeah. At five cents, I can make a profit with that power cost. Eighty four cents of Cero. It's, it's just depressing. Yet at the same time, you know, I'm going to continue mining. I'm going to, again, I'm, I'm waiting till the dust settles before I jump and really lay into a coin. But right now I'm just going to continue mining the spec coin that I'm mining. And we'll just see if it turns into something or what. All right, now let's jump over to our helium miner profits and compare the two here. I'm on hotspotty.net. This is how I keep up with my helium miners profits, status, what's going on, transmit scale, everything. You know, I have 17 helium miners 
And the other day I had one that was down. I did a video on how I was able to fix it. Pretty quick and easy repair. They, they usually are or they aren't. But I've got all 17 up, beaconing, witnessing, doing their thing. And in the past 24 hours, those 17 have made $13.62 at the current price of $4.61. Now, what's the power cost to run these miners? These miners use about five watts each. They can, they can max out somewhere around 12 watts, but typically it's five to 12 watts each. One day pays pretty much for the whole month of power usage for these miners. Compare that to the GPUs, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that I found this project and I kind of, I diversified my, my mining portfolio by adding these things. There are some other projects I was looking at too, but the helium miners and the GPU miners, I didn't want to get too crazy with it because there were a lot of projects coming out and this one just seemed like a, a really good project. And now here recently, they just partnered with T-Mobile. I've been holding out on getting one of the, the 5G modules for my helium miners or one or two of them just because of how expensive and how crazy the market is right now. However, partnering with T-Mobile, maybe it's something I need to add to my system. But again, we need some of the dust to settle before equipment's being purchased for mining right now. There we are. My 24-hour mining profits for my GPUs versus my 24-hour mining profits for my helium miners. The helium miners are, they're kind of hands-off. You set it and forget it. Every now and then, you might have one that has an issue and you might have to drive to a location, which can be a pain, climb up on a roof and, and try to figure out what's wrong with it. But... Man, in a time like this, they are really paying off. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.